Fundamentals of Pasa Adai. You just walk into it. It's just a double step into that block. It doesn't rise up, it still comes across, but you just double step into it. One, two. Now when you turn, my hands just go straight down. So if I was here and I turn, this is the back view, my hands just go straight down. And then as my foot seeks out for the cat stance, my hands come around and my shoulders turn on that 45 that I should always have with a cat stance. So then I straighten up the rising block and the back fist. After you've done your last back fist to the side, your hand makes kind of an S motion into that grass. So your back fist, this hand kind of swerves like the letter S into that pull. Back fist, S. When you slide out, unlike Passai Show where you stood up, you slide out still low. You don't stand up until the punch. In Passai Show it went one, two, and Passai Die, those are together. When you're to the rear in Pasai Dai, after you've done your last seeking hands, in Pasai Show, when you came forward, your feet came together when you pulled into that twin block up, that block against the choke. In Pasai Dai, the feet come heel to ankle. So you've done your seeking hands, the hands pop open in an open knife hand and the heel to ankle. And then you strike out on the ribs, you grab, this time your grab is palm to palm. Pasai show was here, Pasai die, palm to palm, and you slide on this next move. You don't slide on that punch in that same spot in Pasai show. When you turn to the back, you have a knife hand or a ridge hand block, you turn it over to catch the crescent kick. And when you land, this is a block sideways, so the hand is here. Passe show was here because it was a back fist. It's here. So again, when you, you swim out and then you pull, you pull, all of your pulls are palm to palm. And when you turn at the end, your last turn, you turn, Passe show was striking to the groin, Passe die is blocking high. 